A FEMA administrator makes an in-person assessment this week of the sargassum impact on water production operations on St. Croix. It comes after Governor Albert Bryan Jr. issued a state of emergency a couple of weeks ago because of the unprecedented levels of sargassum seaweed in the U.S. Virgin Islands, particularly on St. Croix. Federal Emergency Management Agency's regional administrator, David Warrington, arrived in the territory on Wednesday to make an in-person assessment and get updates on the impact of the heavy influx of sargassum seaweed and what it is having on the VI Water and Power Authority's water production operations on St. Croix. While water production and capacity has remained at almost normal levels, the joint operation between FEMA, other federal partners, as well as local government agencies and departments is certainly continuing in order to work together to try to mitigate any adverse effects from the seaweed, including ways to contain it, collect and remove it, while not having an adverse effect on the environment. They've also begun talks about longer term, more permanent solutions to avoid future sargassum issues or impacts on water production from the annual migration of sargassum seaweed into the territory's waters. In the meantime, residents are still being advised to conserve water as much as possible because amid the continuous drought conditions we're dealing with, the seaweed's also causing water shortages because it's blocking and clogging intake screens and filters at the water treatment plant in St. Croix. Leaders say the massive amounts of sargassum is the result of the reality of climate change.